The Super Mario Bros. movie, made by Illumination Entertainment, is Nintendo's foray into modern cinema. It focuses on who else but Mario and Luigi, who live in... New York? With their family that they apparently have? Yeah, they're plumbers who quit their job to start their own plumbing business. One day the city gets flooded and they take it upon themselves to fix it, but while they're in the sewers trying to figure something out, they get sucked into this pipe and into an alternate universe or something. This is the universe that we've all come to know and love. The one with the Mushroom Kingdom, the Kong Kingdom, and of course, the Dark Lands, Bowser's Kingdom. Mario lands in the Mushroom Kingdom ruled by Princess Peach while Luigi finds himself in Bowser's domain and gets captured. There's this whole thing where Bowser's trying to forcefully marry Peach, which he intends to do under the threat of destroying her entire kingdom. So Peach and Mario team up to repel Bowser and his army of Koopas and go on many wacky adventures. So there's your synopsis, I guess. As far as the quality of the movie goes, it's very obviously a children's film. Heavy reliance on visual gags, predictable jokes, and it's generally just bland and inoffensive. It's kind of hard to really say anything notable about the film because it, it's just so lackluster, but I'm reviewing the movie, so I guess I have to try. Something I noticed the movie did is it settles in pretty quickly. It wastes no time at all in getting itself set up. And it's good because they get right into the action, but the beginning segments of the film definitely feel pretty disjointed. The beginning of the movie just doesn't really flow very well. Not to mention that it means that the character Characters don't really get to be fleshed out more, so it's pretty hard to really care about them. And of course, this movie's really just one of those characters from the real world get sucked into the video game world. Well, not necessarily, but it's pretty close to that. You can feel free to disagree with me on this one, but I really hate this plot point when it comes to video game movies. They have this real world and the video game world. It really just doesn't feel right because it's just not a thing in the Mario games. If you're gonna have a Mario movie, or really any video game movie, don't do this crap where you have your characters cross dimensions. Have it begin and and in its respective universe. And Mario and Luigi have a family as well. That's just something that the movie does, I guess. And they get chastised by their dad for quitting their job and trying to strike out on their own. It's a pretty weird plot point for the movie to have because it never really feels like a motivation for Mario or Luigi. It's brought up in passing like two or three times and that's it. The only reason it's in the movie is so the movie can force some sort of I don't know, closure? Something the movie can use to make the audience feel like they can actually take something of value from the movie? Relatability? I don't know, it just feels like a box that the movie arbitrarily ticks off. Like I said before, I think the characters were done pretty poorly, specifically the side characters. Yeah, Mario and Peach, they're central to the story. In terms of character development for them, they're alright. But then you have this adventurer Toad and Donkey Kong who get added to the retinue, but the two never really feel like a part of the group. They rarely ever feel like they have a spot in the movie. They never to get any time to shine. And I know people got mad at the movie because it portrayed Peach as some sort of girl boss character, a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Now, I don't know how this movie was advertised. This isn't some woke scold movie that was made to appeal to te SJWs and feminists. If it was something that was like a part of the advertising, that's kind of weird because it's not really relevant. I mean, I guess there was this scene where Peach was gonna face off against Bowser on her own, one on one, but that lasted all but two minutes. Bowser was like, ah, marry me. And Peach was like, no, I'm gonna kick your ass. And then Bowser's like, oh, well, I'm gonna torture your toad friend. No, okay, I'll marry you. <laughs> And as far as how the gameplay of Mario gets translated into the movie, it's not really something that's done throughout the film. There are references to its 2D side-scrolling routes. Uh, there was a scene that I'm pretty sure was made to reference Smash Bros. It was, of course, that Mario Kart scene, which is probably the one scene that I actually legitimately had fun watching. But for the most part, I think the movie kind of moved away from its source material, which, to be fair to it, it's understandable. There's really only so much you can do to adapt the gameplay to a movie, so I understand why it's not really done here. In my opinion, it's a typical movie that just so happens to be set in Mario's universe. Similar to how the first Sonic movie was really just a generic film that just so happened to have Sonic in it. And I guess I'll quick bring it up because I know Illumination gets criticized for their simple and low effort, low budget animation, but considering it's Mario, I think it's fit for the medium. If I wanted to nitpick it, I'd say that there were points in the movie where it seemed like they were trying to combine this cartoony style with some sort of realism. I guess I kind of found that off-putting, but I think that's really just a nitpick. I, it, that didn't really bother me that much. The voice acting, no, absolutely not absolutely abysmal. Now I knew Chris Pratt was voicing Mario and Jack Black was doing Bowser, but other than that, I really didn't know who was voicing who. But the second that any character opened their mouth, I instantly understood, oh, this is a celebrity voice actor who wasn't chosen because they'd be good for the job, but because they're recognizable and their mere presence will help with the movie's reach. Check the Wikipedia page and, yep, there it is. 
all celebrities, and this really messes with how immersed you can get in the movie. No one sounds like they're supposed to. If a character from a movie opens their mouth, and I don't hear that character, but rather the celebrity voicing them, you messed. If every time a character speaks, I am reminded of what a soulless cash grab this movie is, you need to re-evaluate. For God's sake, just hire actual voice actors. They're probably cheaper to sign on anyways, and your movie's gonna be better off for it. I miss the days of animation when celebrities were limited to cameos. Now they're the entire damn movie because that's what makes them sell well. If there's anyone who was worth their salt in this movie, I think the one who voiced the Magic Koopa... Behold! The King of the Koopas! Definitely did a good job, probably because he's an actual voice actor, who knew? But also Jack Black did a very good performance. And I don't like to say that because frankly, as a celebrity, I think the guy's annoying. But in this movie, he did a great job as Bowser. My army! Koopas! Koopas! Whatever those things are! He actually sounded as Bowser would have actually sounded like. It's almost like he tried. But don't get me wrong though, that piano scene was stupid. Peaches, 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 peaches. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Speaking of the music, the movie does a lot of orchestral uh, renditions of iconic Mario songs, which I think just wear out really fast. On one hand, dude, I get it, it's a Mario movie. On the other hand, dude, I get it. It's a Mario movie. Now, I'm saying a lot about the movie, and it might seem like I have strong opinions on it, but I'll be completely honest, it's really not much of anything. If you know how Illumination does their work, understand that there's no exception here. The Super Mario Brothers movie, it's not bad. It's not good either. It just is. I am completely indifferent to the fact that this is a thing that exists. I mean, the kids loved it and the theater was laughing for most of the jokes. I want to say that it's one of those movies that you just kind of have to accept is made for kids and not you. I know about that one, Chief. Mario is a character with universal appeal. I feel like to excuse mediocre writing by saying, oh, it's a kid's film, deal with it, is pretty dumb. I'm gonna use the tried but true argument of you can make a movie for kids and you can have that same movie appeal to adults. If you're gonna use this argument of, oh, the writing has to be overly simplistic because it has to be understandable to the kids, then we both agree that the movie just isn't that good. The only difference is I'm not the one trying to justify it. I don't know, man. I give the Super Mario Brothers movie a 5 out of 10. When I give a movie a 5 out of 10, it's my way of saying that the medium is middle of the road. It does a lot of things good, it does a lot of things bad. So ultimately, it's pretty hard to come to a conclusion on whether such a medium is good or bad. But here I'm giving the score that I am because of just how nothing it is. I don't know what to say or how else I can make it clearer. This movie is nothing. It will make its hundreds of millions of dollars, the people behind it will get absolutely filthy stinking rich, and then it will be swept away with the ashes of time. Never to be remembered again. Just like the Sonic movies that came before it. Now do I recommend that you go out and see this movie? Funny thing, normally I'd say something like, oh it's not that good of a movie, but hey, if you like the source material, go for it. Honestly, unless you have kids or are one yourself, there's no reason to see this film. If you want Mario, if you want to be immersed in a Mario center story, just play Mario. And to be fair, that's probably the one thing this movie actually did for me. It made me actually want to play a Mario game so I can get a better experience there. This movie can be safely disregarded whether you're a Mario fan or not. I have nothing more to say. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the video. Now if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. You have just watched a video from the Genovision. If you want to keep up to date with our game and movie reviews, subscribe to the channel, follow the Twitter, and join our cult. I mean Discord. And I hear the higher ups talking about a second channel, so be on the lookout for that, I guess. Mac Chista, Genovision, signing out. You all have a good one.